I've had some really engaging virtual reality experiences, one of them simply set in an office, but it seems that if you're entering a VR world, you might as well go somewhere really exciting, like space. That's where home of VR Spacewalk takes you. Inspired by NASA's training program, it aims to bring a mission in space to the masses. After getting used to your new surroundings, you undertake an emergency mission. Whilst enjoying views of Earth from afar, a friendly hand from a fellow astronaut helps to get you on your way. Ah, oh, I, can, I can hold a hand. I feel a strange sense of safety. There's another astronaut here. The BBC commissioned the experience last year as its first steps into the world of virtual reality content. We've taken all the storytelling power of the BBC and applied that behind it, so there's a great script, there's a great narrative. Um, and then we've also looked at all the kind of cutting edge um, uh, explorations that people are doing around VR in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of biomonitoring, um, haptic feedback, etc, etc, and trying to bring that into it, just as a massive piece of learning, really. My preview here on the HTC Vive saw it set up along with a chair providing haptic feedback and a heart rate monitor, which resulted in my being sent back to base if readings went too high. But apparently, I'm very calm in space. In March, it'll be released for Vive on Steam as well as Oculus. Wow, this is incredible. I'm now looking at Vancouver, apparently. Some artistic license was of course needed, like making tasks shorter so they wouldn't get boring. But aside from creating the pictures and storytelling a project as bold as this needs, there were the usual challenges faced by those producing VR content. In 360 video and virtual reality, locomotion is one of the biggest problems. Uh, if you move someone without them having made a conscious decision to be moved, it can be very disorientating and incur motion or sim sickness. Uh, so to help get around those problems in this uh, particular environment of zero gravity on the outside of the space station, we built uh, a system where you move yourself by grabbing handles. So every single movement of yourself within the environment is always user initiated and as granular, as slow or as fast as you are comfortable with. I feel most disorientated. Wow, the depth of it, I think, was the thing that was really surprising. You really got a sense of being up high, seeing things really, really far away. It took a while to actually get to grips with what I was meant to be doing. But I think just the fact that I was moving around within space was quite incredible. Whilst it wasn't possible to create a sense of weightlessness, the pictures were amazing, but obviously I can't vouch for how true to life they are.